My husband and I were going to Cuba and uh, just about four days before we were supposed to leave, my arm started swelling up and uh, I, I was getting a little nervous and so was my husband that um, something was wrong with it and we were going out of the country so that was a little nerve wracking so we decided to go to the ER. I had a pain in my arm and it had swollen up probably about three months before that and I had gone to the ER then and the doctor had put me on muscle relaxers and pain pills. I met with Dr. Murnahan and I had told her that I had gone through this before and that I just needed some muscle relaxers and pain pills and she said well we have to run some tests I'm not just gonna write you prescriptions I said okay so she did some blood work and then that came back that my white cell count was up and uh, she said that she would really like to um, send me for an ultrasound and when I went in the ultrasound tech had gone up and down my arms and uh, she spent a lot of time around my neck and she I told me that Dr. Murnahan wanted to see me as soon as she had the results that I just needed to go tell them in the air. So we did and uh, that's when she told me that they found a lump. They took out half my thyroid the first time and that's when they found the Herthal cell carcinoma is the type of cancer that I had and uh, then the other half needed to come out right away because it can be an aggressive thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer is probably the best cancer to get, but that being said, this was one of the not so great ones to have for thyroid cancer. We walk into the oncology unit and there's a feeling that everybody there is just so kind and it feels good when you walk in there. Treatment closer to home is a new paradigm in um, cancer care. The physical, social, emotional, and financial burden for a sick cancer patient to travel long distances, to go off the island for treatment is very significant. And if we're able to offer this treatment, modern state-of-the-art radiation services at home on the island for the patient, it would be the ideal situation. It would have changed everything had we gone off island, there's no question. Um, my husband and my daughter were there every day, um, multiple times a day, bringing in anything they could think of even though I didn't need it. Um, so it was good for them and their mental health. When that happens, that changes your life and uh, you decide that you're going to live every day and seize every opportunity and take chances and it reminded us that none of us are promised any time and you really have to live your life to the fullest every day.